and News 4. All right, Kim, thank you. News 4's Chris Nagus now live for us in the Parkway District tonight. Chris, with so many schools relying on virtual learning to start the year, many parents are asking the question about how attendance will be counted. Sam, that is a question that parents are asking. As you know, and as you just saw in the Rockwood District, virtual learning will bring challenges. And teachers and administrators at schools like Shenandoah Valley Elementary here in Chesterfield know getting kids to show up virtually might be one of those challenges. It's definitely a learning curve. Fifth grade teacher Karen McBride is preparing to teach more than 20 kids virtually. Her physical classroom will be empty, so she's going to have to establish relationships online. We will do icebreakers, get to know you. But as the days turn into weeks, McBride knows attendance and participation might be a challenge. Well, that is a concern, um, trying to figure out how we do keep everybody getting online every day and keeping them engaged. The principal at Shenandoah Valley Elementary told me the state is being flexible on attendance reporting. The school plans to report a 94% attendance rate, even if kids aren't required to show up in person. Teachers like McBride will track who shows up to online meetings. So each morning in each class we go into, I'm going to notice, I'm going to take note of who's logging in. And if they're not logging in, then that's when we're going to be a little concerned when we start seeing that they're not logging in day after day. If McBride notices an extended absence, she will reach out to parents directly, followed by counselors and school administrators. And if McBride notices a child is online, but not participating, she's got a plan. So maybe reaching out one-on-one -on -one with them and getting online, maybe just having a one-on-one -on -one meeting or calling them on the phone and just figuring out what's going on and find out how I can get them engaged. Attendance does factor into funding for school districts around the state of Missouri, but according to the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, attendance will not be used as an accountability measure for school districts this year. Reporting live in Chesterfield, Chris Nagus, 